All right, got my front door speaker out of my um, GX470 here. I've got another video showing the uh, door removal, uh, if you check out my other videos. But uh, I'm just gonna get started on this uh, refoaming kit from uh, Simply Speakers. Um, pretty simple. I've actually done this a few times to figure to make a video because I feel like this video goes into way too much detail. I'm gonna make it quick and simple. All right, first step, pull the speaker out. All right, next step is to peel this foam off. Um, I think if you get a flathead in between or this tool right here, I'm gonna pry underneath it and peel this whole thing off, we'll see. Really, it's just gonna peel off. I'm gonna come back and clean it up with the razor blade and be careful not to hurt the cone. After you peel the foam away, actually I don't think I need to clean this up yet, but uh, there's four screws, just take those out and then this, put, this top plate will come off. All right, once you remove this little gasket guy, we're gonna come up and clean this edge around. All this gunk. Very easy to hit it with the X-Acto knife or a uh, utility knife. All right, clean this outer edge off. Now I'm gonna come back with the utility knife and what foam is still remaining on the cone. I'm gonna keep my depth really short on the utility knife so I don't accidentally cut um, those wires back there. But that's the only thing you really have to watch out for. Otherwise it's really simple. Just cut around the edge of this to clean that up. And then I'm gonna come back with some rubbing alcohol and clean this uh, outer edge with the rubbing alcohol and then she'll be ready to uh, start gluing the new foam on. So you'll see, it's very easy to just go around this thing and uh, the cone will take a lot more pressure to go through and you could, the rubber should just give with the old foam. See now I went around, scraped all of this off the outer of the cone. I'm gonna come back and hit that with some rubbing alcohol now. Just going around with rubbing alcohol, clean on the edge of the cone, clean on the edge of the thing. Uh, that will all evaporate, be good. After the rubbing alcohol, I'm coming back around with the X-Acto knife and scraping as much of this glue out as possible. The alcohol should help break it down. Pretty clean, does not have to be perfect. I've done this before, it does not have to be perfect. I'm about to be done here. All right, this ring, we gotta clean the back side of it because that's actually what's gonna hold the uh, new speaker foam. It's because the speaker foam's gonna get glued along that edge, but then back up. This also holds it down from the top uh, when it's screwed down. Um, so we'll clean this edge as best we can. Scrape it with the utility knife and alcohol, same thing. All right, got that all cleaned up. Now it's time to apply the glue around this outer edge and the outer edge of the cone. It's gonna be gluing all on the outside here. You'll see it just sits right there. And it's not like there'll be a little bit of stretching that has to happen, like maybe. You'll see, I, I end up using uh, this little tool, like usually the back corner of it, just to push it in little areas where I wanna stretch it and make sure all the glue is exactly where I want it to be which I'll show you here in a second, but then the last thing is you'll, you'll screw that back on and that will hold it down from the top. Um, all right, next step. Using their supplied glue, I'm gonna start on this outside edge and go all the way around, then I'm gonna come back and smooth it out with my finger. Need two hands for this, so I'll come back. All right, so I got the bead of glue going all the way around, now I'm coming around just smoothing it a little bit with my finger. Doesn't matter if little gets here and there. Keep an extra cloth handy to get that glue off your finger. Now I'm about to lay that foam on there. All right, now I've just sat this down as straight as I could. Now I'm just going around, make sure it's all pressed down and it gets 
this glue gets tackier. So if it's pulling on one side versus the other, when it, as the glue gets a little bit more dry, it dries pretty quickly. You can push it into where you need it to push. I'm just gonna keep fucking with this until it's dry enough that I'm, uh, I'll move to the outer edge. But, man, watching this video, this guy, I'm here on like a minute, 1839. I'm gonna, this, he's definitely goes above and beyond over explaining everything. I think uh, I'm making this so much more for myself. So the next time I make this speaker thing, I don't have to watch his video again. But uh, very simply, just messing with this. The fact that I got extra glue on here, it's not gonna make a difference. It's great. Just a little tip, this is, uh, um, if you ever start getting the glue on your fingers, you, your finger will stick to the foam. Sometimes I just use this tool um, to go around and push for me. And if I ever get any glue on it, I keep going back and cleaning it because you don't want it on the outside of your tool because it will stick to the foam and you don't want that. But uh, as it gets tackier, it'll hold where you want it to hold. Okay, so you can kind of go around like, this really feels like the perfect tool for this part of the job. You can push it exactly where you want it into place. Go around the whole thing. I just keep doing that. I've probably been at this for like three or four minutes, but it's still not completely dry. Once I get it dry enough, I can peel up the outer edge and leave, lay that outer bead and just push that down. So, coming up. All right, now it's time. To, so now that this is all tacked up, I'm going to peel back this and lay the bead all around the outside. I'll, this tool really comes in handy on this job. I'm gonna go around the whole thing like that and I'll come back and show you how I did it. All right, glue has been placed all around this outer edge now and uh, you'll see I'll just keep going around and kind of do what I did with the inner speaker. Make sure it's pulled all the way out to the edges all the way around until it gets tacky enough that it holds. And then once that is done, I'll apply glue to this edge here. Or actually I'll probably apply the glue on the edge there, on the outer edge. And then this will go down, put the screws back in, and then I will turn it upside down and let it cure like that to put the pressure on the speaker foam. I will show you. All right, now that I've waited like a couple minutes, probably not long enough, but I uh, think the fit's good enough, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start laying this bead on this outer edge here. Yeah, you can definitely see that's not completely dry yet, but it's all gonna be held in place by that ring anyway, so. Here we go. All right, glue all on the outer edge now. This guy can come. Make sure all those holes line up so I can put my screws in. All right, I'm gonna throw these screws in and set this baby upside down so she can dry. All right, ring is glued back on. I am going to let this sit over the next 30 minutes at least like that. And then she should be ready to test. And that concludes the, no, actually I'll probably show you whenever I put it back in the car playing. That'll be the last of the video. All right, waited 30 minutes. Check the function of it. No grinding, nothing. So it's good to go. All right, put this thing back in this motherfucker. All right, test coming next. Well, I couldn't play music in my and take the video at the same time. It cuts the music off, but it's fixed. It works great. Now I just gotta do the subwoofer. And if uh, you need a video of how to take this door panel apart, it's super easy. I got a video on that as well. Just check my channel. She done.